Welcome, everyone, to the Daily Juice Podcast on the Betting Pros Network. I'm your host, Sean Stacking the Money Green. Uh, give me a follow on Twitter at Sean T. Green. And as always, Daily Juice is being brought to you by BetMGM. Use the promo code JUICE. $10 bet turns into $200 if either team scores a touchdown. College and pro restrictions apply. All right, what a what a Sunday. Uh, pretty profitable Sunday. Four units of profit. Let's go, baby. Uh, three and two on the five picks, but one of the losses was uh, that oh, round robin, which you only had uh, one unit on. And then uh, one of the wins was plus 162 money line on the Titans, AKA Matt Ryan is complete trash. So uh, nice, nice little uh, Sunday there. Four units of profit. I think it was 6.6 units up coming into Sunday. So 10.6 units ish uh, overall for the week. I'll take that any day, any day of the week, any week of the week. All right, uh, gonna ra- rapid fire the pick recap because I got a bunch of fun angles here for a Monday night football. Okay, uh, the round robin. I-, I think I mistakenly said Bills, Ravens, and Bears. Cra- clarified on the YouTube comments and in the Discord, slash chat that I meant Titans, Ravens, and Bears on the money line. I mean, the Ravens really, really had their chances uh, to win that game. Should have kicked the field goal, Harbaugh. I'm usually the guy saying, you know, being aggressive, and it's easy to question him in hindsight. Again, that's why I'm doing it. Um, (laughs) It's easy to say, I would have kicked the field goal. I don't know. I'm a degenerate. I probably would have went for it, let's be honest. But you got to kick the field goal there because you're playing against Josh Allen. Make Josh Allen. Uh, beat you with the touchdown. And I think really uh, what, what probably deserves more attention is the fact that not only did he not throw an incomplete pass, he threw an interception. So they got the 20 yards uh, right there instead of starting out their own three Um, Steelers. uh, I get, you know, I was worried, Oh, the three, three and a half didn't matter. Steelers lost outright. What a wild game. Uh, Kenny Pickett comes in at some point there. Kenny Pickett has still not thrown an incomplete pass. Uh, through 13 passes, 10 completions, three interceptions, two rushing touchdowns. I, I don't know what to make of this Steelers team. I guess they're just really bad, man. Uh, you know, they haven't been the same without TJ Watt. I don't think they've won a game uh, without TJ Watt in a long time. Uh, not, not moving the jets up, not falling for it. Uh, very jets fortunate to get that win, but Hey, hats off to the jets. All right. Now to the winners Ravens plus four again. Felt like we should have got that outright win. Come on, Lamar. What are you? What are you doing? Uh, defense hot and cold, and I, I, I guess just fading Josh Allen or expecting Josh Allen to lose back-to-back games was a bit um, too much there. But the plus four, even if you didn't get the four, there were definitely some three and a halfs floating around even late last night. So hopefully you got. Hopefully you didn't play the plus three and got the push. That's always uh, a little annoying. But there was there was some fours and three and a halfs out there. Titans on the money line. This I, I wish I, I should have just put 10 units on this because I was feeling pretty good that the Titans were going to win outright. Uh, got a little scary there at some point. You know, Matt Ryan had a had a brief period where he looked like a competent quarterback, but he's Matt Ryan. Yeah, I felt good fading him even at home. Uh, Derrick Henry had a nice game there. I, I still think no one is good in the AFC South. Uh, shout out to the Jags. I, I just don't think the AFC AFC South is the worst division. And while you would think uh, not winning a game has hurt the Houston, Texas chances to win the division, they're, they're still kind of alive. When you look at it, um, they, uh, you need to start winning some games, Texans uh, last but not least cards on the money line, Matt rule now one and 26 when uh, the opposing team scores 17 points. So not good for the Panthers, not good for old Matty rule. Although uh, Christian McCaffrey finally got going in fantasy. So if you're like me and you have uh, drafted him, he's looking alive. Didn't think the Cardinals played that well. Got some, got some Baker picks, um, but yeah, the Cardinals still not looking too great. You know what is looking great? This fire, fire, Brandon Ayuk. Uh, jersey. That's right. You can get an autographed Brandon Ayuk jersey. All you got to do is go to youtube.com slash betting pro subscribe to the channel, comment on this very video, and you're automatically entered to win an autographed Brandon Ayuk jersey courtesy of pristine auction. All right, let's get to the Monday night picks. And uh, 
Let's go. Matt Stafford under 250 and a half passing yards. Get that minus 115, one unit over on DK. He hasn't, uh, he didn't get, uh, he didn't go over this number in either regular season game against the San Francisco 49ers did get there in the playoff game, but that was a very weird, uh, game script. I don't see that happening again, especially in San Francisco. Uh, Matt Stafford hasn't gone over this uh, number yet this season. I don't see him doing it in a division game on the road against this uh, defense. The Rams offense in general just seems pretty out of sync. I mean, we saw it opening day. We've seen it like even in that Cardinals win. Yeah, they got the win, but they didn't look great. And I think the 49ers have, you know, figured out, Hey, sit back. Don't blitz Stafford. Um, you know, if you look at some of the numbers blitz versus not blitz, it he's, he's, he's much worse when you don't bliss, uh, blitz him, uh, you know, interceptions, passer rating yards per attempt, all much lower than when you actually blitz him. So I think the 49ers are aware of that. I think they're going to sit back, play coverage against Matt Stafford Cause I think they can get to him, uh, with Bosa against that offensive line that doesn't have Whitworth. So I am on the under passing yards for Matt Stafford. I'm also on the under George Kittle receptions. It's set at four and a half minus 115, one unit over on DK as well. George Kittle again has only played in one game so far. He had four catches in that game. I think what's really going to hurt him here is that George Kittle is a really good blocker. Obviously the 49ers uh, big loss losing Trent Williams. It obviously is not out for the season, but won't be playing tonight. I think, you know, I, I think they're going to use George Kittle as a blocker. He's a very good blocker. This 49ers offensive line, if they lose this game, it's going to be because of the offensive line. I think you're just going to have to keep George Kittle in. I, I think if you're a Niners fan or a Niners backer, yeah, you can rely on Shanahan's creativity to find other people, get them involved, uh, you know, get Debo going, uh, maybe Jawan Jennings, get him going, just something else. I, I think George Kittle, you're going to need him to block. So I think under four and a half receptions, maybe they get him going a little bit on some screen stuff, but I think five catches is a lot for George Kittle. Next up, Matt Stafford over a half interceptions, minus 115 over on DK. Going to toss a unit on that. He's thrown five picks already this season, tied for the lead league. Um, San Francisco line, like I said, should be able to get pressure without blitzing, uh, AKA Bosa, you know, uh, against this offensive line. I think it's, there's going to be a ton of opportunities. He's coming off a game where he didn't throw an interception, AKA he's due. He played the 49ers three times last year, threw a pick in every game, uh, two in each games of the regular season and one in the playoff game for five total in three games. Matt Safford throws a bunch of picks, uh, over a half interceptions. Last but not least, gotta gotta give you a play on the game. Rams at 49ers. I'm gonna take the 49ers money line minus 122, uh, two units over on FanDuel. Love the uh, Rams, uh, or no, sorry, love the 49ers defensive line against the Rams offensive line. If you're a yards per play person, I do like looking at that metric. The 49ers defense is is best in the league, only allowing 3.9 yards per play. I think they have a, a decent home field advantage, especially when it comes to the Rams. Uh, Shanahan seems to have McVay's number, at least in the regular season. This Rams team clearly isn't kind of the same team. Uh, Jimmy G, again, wasn't totally in sync, didn't seem to fully know the playbook. Maybe they shouldn't have hidden the playbook from Jimmy G in the preseason. Um, and maybe, uh, maybe Jimmy G apologizes to Kyle Shanahan for screaming, your plays suck. Uh, like he's like, it looked like he did, uh, last week. I, I just think they have another week to figure some stuff out. I, I trust Shanahan's ability to scheme something up offensively. And I really just, this is really a bet on the 49ers defense versus this Rams offense. Now, Ari, can you completely stop Cooper cup? No. Can you slow him down and prevent him from beating you? I think they can. And that's why I like 49ers on the money line. They know how to beat the Rams, especially in San Francisco. So Give me the 49ers on the money line for two units. Get that over on FanDuel. That was the best price. Uh, Matt Stafford over a half interceptions, minus 115 over on DraftKing. One unit there. George Kittle under four and a half receptions, minus 115 over on DraftKing. One unit there. Matt Stafford under 250 and a half passing yards, minus 115 over on DraftKings for one unit. And uh, make sure you check out bettingpros.com slash NFL props. Tons of great information over there if you're getting down 
on some Monday night prop action. Highly recommend their projections, their analysis. They're, again, let the computers do the heavy lifting and, uh, you know, pick your favorites and handicap it from there. Also, make sure you go to uh, BetMGM. Dot com. Use the promo code JUICE. Bet ten dollars, get two hundred dollars if either team scores a touchdown. Follow us on TikTok at Betting Pros. Follow me on Twitter at Sean T Green. Check out my other podcast, The Sports Gambling Podcast. You guys know what to do: subscribe, rate, and review. And as always, don't forget to let it ride.